Hello and welcome back to Chunk Block. Now, last time we got our biofuel up and running, and I went hunting for a bit of iron, found a bit of gold, found a few diamonds more. It's nice. But to make sure we can actually produce our biofuel, I decided to do it. We should automate that. So that is going to be botany pots. For that, I need clay. And clay, I do not have. So, um, I think we're going to have to go over here in search of clay. And that'll be this way. And in there, we have mobs. And in general, we have mobs all over here. Mm, let's see what we can find. That looks like some kind of structure. Let's check that out. If nothing else, I can harvest a few bricks. Yeah. Bricks it is. Oops. Can I get you? Ah, I can. Well, that was the entire structure. That was not very interesting. We got a bit of that stuff. What are, what are these? Oxide ACs, yeah. Giant mushroom. Picking off random stuff here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what's this? Wild boar. Well, if that truly is a wild boar, we should not mess with it. And that actually looks... That looks like a naga. We are going to have to deal with that at some point, but I think we should get our base settled first. So, let's go down here and check. And yes, plenty clay. Plenty clay to be had. We're going to need a bunch of it. And I'm going to leave the sand alone, gravel. Yes, please. I'm probably going to need that as well. Uh, what else can we find? I think that would be more gravel. And I think that's clay patch. Yep. And more clay here. Hey, give me clay. Thank you. So how much clay? That's almost what I want. I want just a bit more. One patch. Let's find one good sized patch. We don't want to go into the dark forest because that is probably going to kill us. That sand. More sand. Hey, Clay, come on. I need you. There. Ow. Well, we are going to get out. I should be able to get right back here and back to my original home up here there we go we got it all plenty of clay right 
So what do we have here? We have a few brick thingies, which we are going to not really throw in there because it doesn't fit. Oh, I got more diamonds down here. I did not notice that. Just going to collect those. We are going to pop that in there. And the rest of them... We need to make many, many... So I should make a hopping botany pot, because that's the, the best one. It'll just pop into inventory below. So, I need five for each of those, and three. So that's five, and five, and three. They'll only do four. Okay, that's what I need to smelt up. They don't really, they don't really have two pots. That actually makes pretty good sense. And that's my iron that I had spelled it up. And as you can see, I got a book. There was another thing down there that I wanted to get up, but I had uh, no room. There was a some more bricks and things. Oh, that can go in there. I have these presents. I have no idea what they are. But... Um, Let's, let's just find out. I forgot about these presents. So what did I get? A... Day? Okay. Soulbound something? And another of the same? And another of the same. Well, that kind of sucks. They're not all that interesting. But the goal for today is a hover pot, or actually two of them. It does take quite a bit of the iron I have, but I feel I need to have these. Cooking pot? No. Hover. Because they are going to be vital for power. So we are going to grow them. I know I could grow them down here, but I haven't found a way to do a harvesting yet. If I find something, I am sure I'm going to put it in. Let's just find a bit of potato and smell that. And did it day. We need those and then we are ready to go with these pots. Now I did look at the pots and what they could be used for. And we need the see we can we can take these because they can go in the pot as well. Here. Interesting stuff. Speed 1.5 if I have Supreme and Farmland. And path blocks, they're only half speed. Lush farmland, can't do it. Grass, yeah, that's simple speed, can't do those. Farmland, I can. They are... Where is it? Oops, shouldn't do that. Farmland, lush farmland, regular farmland, that's apparently not quite true. And more of the same, I can use coarse dirt, lush dirt, can't really do those. Rooted dirt is not so good, pot soil is the same, mycelium is the same. Uberus soil, if I could find that. Okay, that's a twilight forest thing, maybe I can. Dirt is a one-time speed. So, yeah. As I recall, I can make 
Where is it? Where's, where's my dirt gun? I can make farmland in my inventory by doing this. Yes. And this stuff should pop into my... And... Nah, let's melt the gold. Into my... My pots. So those go there. Those go there. And... Harbor botany pots. Yes! Ooh, quest. And... What's the quest? Where... Where's the quest? Mr. Krabs? Not the one? No. Twilight? I've been there. I have not killed the Naga. Uh, bu 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 pots to grow stuff. I have made that one. Ah, bummer. Never mind. We need one chest. So we're going to make a bunch. And we're going to make it a double chest. And for the fun of it, I think we are going to place it over here at our dude. Can you please make regular chest? Thank you. No. Not the place. But there, you can still open. Okay, we can do that and that. And let's see, we are going to grow carrots. Because that is the thing. So we got 1.05% speed. They'll be done in a moment. While we're waiting, let's put that one out of its misery. Now, I am going to use my existing crusher for the moment, because this is a resource-intensive thing. Oh, Blood Moon. Didn't notice that. Let's just wait and see. Almost done. Mm, come on. Almost there. Both of them. 98. And pop. It's now both. So I'm going to get a load of carrots from that. And I'm probably going to expand with more pots and have them all be fed into my power generation. For now, it, it's going to live here. I think we might actually end up moving the entire power generation down to this level. I think that would be a good spot for it. Then we have roots here and we have more noisy machinery just hanging out way down. For now though, I need to make it up here so I can get all the materials I need because I can't really move things that far. Let's see, next step. That is going to have to be this one. I can manually feed a few things, but not this one. So let's get cracking and get our stuff together here. We have a few buckets, some of those, oh, copper, more iron. This and that, and I'm going to need those as well. Mm, maybe a bit of coal. Definitely the charcoal. Gold has been melted. Right. First off, we are going to make... We, we need to make eight. Because... If we look here, we're going to need two and five. 
We're also going to use iron and osmium and gold. And while we can stuff it through, we can also pop these in there. I thought I had a bit of redstone lying around. Maybe not. Yes, I have it here. That's the crusher, that's this one. I'll just make one of those. I need... No, just one iron. And I need two osmium. So... And I'm actually going to need two of those, but we're just making them as we go along. Because the electrolytic separator down here also needs one. We can make it fairly compact, but we do need to minimize our resource usage. Because we do not have a lot of resources. And see there, I ran out. We got those. One, two, three, four, and this one. So that'll be our main thing. Gas burning generator. And I am actually going to take this one down. And that will go there. And we're going to hook it up like that. That way, once we have this hooked up, we can just feed the gas into any one of those and it will fire off. And you're just going to go back in the crusher. And we got our control circuit. So this one is done. To make ethylene, we need this one, which requires enrichment chamber which is another steel casing so we are going to take one of those two of those now just one because I can feed four iron in here which is just enough for what I need and actually make four steel from one coal then we'll have the pressurized reaction chamber. That is where we feed our biofuel in. Then we need electrolytic separator and we need electric pump. Then we're good to go. So we are getting there. But it takes a short while. This one's still good. I'm going to remove those. No need to feed it because I think we are good to go. There we go, back in. Let's see, what else can we make while we're waiting? This one we got. This one we need basic chemical tanks. We need more redstone. We got redstone there, good. So one and two. That one will have to go there because it's annoying. I also need dynamic tank, which is steel, and I and a bucket, no problem. And I need more steel up there, and I have a single one of those. So we are good on that front. But I need one of those, and I actually need to make eight steel. That's gonna be close. I hope I got enough. I really, really hope I got all I need. So, uh, no, not that one. I need yeah, 
cover. Smelt my steel. Off with the cover. And those three can actually live in here for the moment. So we got those. Where is my glass? It's right there. Oh yeah, I also went down while hunting for iron. I killed quite a few mobs, so this one is now full. So whatever we're going to use it for later, we got a full one. We just need this one so we can proceed with the next bit. Ah, let's see. Are you done yet? No. You're done. One casing coming up. Like that. One enrichment chamber. And yes, I, I can't just grab my enrichment chamber from down there. Let's see, I'm missing steel. Six steel. And then we're done. Then we got the pressurized reaction chamber. For this one, I'm going to need one redstone more. Right. And these are almost done. Oh, that's iron. Shoot! I only have five. And it needs seven. I'm going to have to hunt for more iron. I can make the pressurized reaction chamber. But nothing else. I can't get the last two pieces I need. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Let's just take a look here. Hydrogen, I can't. Can I make it any different ways? No. I can feed in water and get that. Or I can, if I have water and oxygen, I can make sulfur and hydrogen. But that requires oxygen. All of these require oxygen. So, that's not gonna happen. We are just going to finish up on this one then. And I will have to go on the hunt for more iron. Ooh, we got a world core. Well, since we got a world core. I think we should give ourselves another chunk. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Just so we can actually continue our quest for more space. There we go. A chunk spawner. So we got that ready. Next up, dynamic tank. There we go. Now we just need two more of those. While we're waiting, let's Let's make a few torches, because um, we don't have much. Not much in the torch department. Like that. And I think I want this chunk, so I can get... No, this, this side. So I can get more of the house. We No villagers yet. That's a bit of a bummer, but I can live with that. Because we got an interesting building over here. And I'm just lighting up like crazy. We also got a quarter tree or something. So what do we have here? We have a chart table. Cartoph cartographer. Wow, difficult word. But it also allows us to take a look 
down this side. There's no exposed iron. At least than, uh, that I can see from here. There is a massive patch there of gravel. There's some coal over there. And no obvious signs of other resources that I want at the moment. Uh, yeah. That's just what can happen. And I picked up a few berries more. And... Actually, that berry should go downstairs. So, down we go. And into here. There we go. Steel. And one pressurized reaction chamber. Now this one is a bit funky because it takes a heck of a lot of entering points and whatever else. So I am going to pop it there. I would normally, if I had the resources, put a gas tank between them, but I do not have that. So, items, we are going to reset that. Energy is good. Fluids, we have no idea where they're coming from. Gases, on the back side, that's the output. And, yeah. Oh, we had a button down there. Good. So far, so good. Next time, I will have hunted more iron, and we can take a look at getting this up and running. Let's just get an idea over here. We are almost at one stack. It's not super fast. We're going to increase the speed with more pots. So if I take, I don't know, fill a 4x4 with these, I should probably get quite a few pots but I don't know if I'm going to use mm, I'm going to have to make a normal pot and check it out these have an inventory which means I could possibly extract from them and with more iron I can make the logistical pipes and probably just extract from all of them and feed it in but we'll have to see next time so, next time the hunt is on, we go, I gotta find some iron first. So, until then, bye-bye.